No one asked for it, but Adidas just upgraded the Samba in a massive way, turning this sneaker into what could potentially be the perfect everyday sneaker. By now, we are all familiar with the Adidas Samba. It is a timeless and classic sneaker and has inspired a ton of sneaker designs that have preceded it. Now, the common saying is if something isn't broken, don't fix it. But in this particular case, a little bit of fine tuning definitely went a very long way. Now, before I get into the details that make this sneaker so good, I did want to let you know about my watch company that just went live for a soft launch exclusive for you, and it's known as Aura. Aura has been a passion project of mine and an entire team of people for the better part of four years. After tireless design, innovation, engineering, we're excited to announce this brand new offering. We engineered these watches to have the same great technical and luxury attributes that these tens, sometimes $100,000 watches have at a fraction of that price point. We're talking automatic movements with bi-directional self-winding, that means no batteries ever, 80 hour power reserve, which means that even if you're not wearing it, it won't die on you, Three 16L stainless steel case and durable scratch resistant sapphire glass face. The list just goes on and on as to the length that we put into making these watches as amazing and high value as they could possibly be. For a very limited time for pre-launch, I'm giving 30% off to you, my Locust Wild Honey community, just as a way of saying thank you for the continued support over the years. I don't anticipate 30% off ever coming back again. But back to the Adidas Sambe, this is a sneaker that I actually actually heard about on Instagram, but when I went to the site, I feel like the Adidas website didn't do this shoe any justice. When I saw the shoe, it's called the Sambe, which automatically told me that this shoe was strictly for females. That in tandem with the fact that the pictures make it look like it's an actual really platform shoe. But in came this post by Carl Oronce, who did get a different angle of the shoe and posted it to the Locust Wild Honey community. And my goodness, I was sold instantly. Right then and there, I purchased three pairs, as you can see here before me and since then I haven't looked back. Now just as a quick side note if you haven't already go ahead and hit the link below if you're interested in joining a group of like-minded individuals. It's a very chill atmosphere the Locust Wild Honey Facebook group. There we buy sell trade share outfits and kind of gather around this cool hobby we love that is fashion and streetwear. Now to kind of go ahead and address the elephant in the room they kind of serve the same purposes of the Kith Samba Clark 8th Street but at a significantly lower price point. As a matter of fact, at this very moment of filming this video, they're going for just a little over $400. And as good as these shoes are, and they're very, very good, I did do a review on them. Go ahead and check that out if you want to. What I've noticed about them are a few detriments. The first one being the shape of these shoes were slightly altered, and I just don't find them to be quite as complimentary as a standard pair of Sambas. Second, the one thing that I cannot stand about a crepe sole is that they show every bit of dirt. Mind you, I've only worn these once outdoors and they look they look like charcoal. They look very, very bad. And finally, uh, when it comes to the suede upper, it's amazing quality. I really love it. I find myself kind of babying it just because suede is a little bit more prone to being difficult to clean. But in this sneaker here, you get almost everything that you love about the Kith Samba Clark, but for like 25% of the price, these are only 110 bucks. And I don't say that to diminish the value of 100 bucks, but $100 is kind of the standard price point for entry-level sneakers. And when I talk about everything great about this shoe, you'll see that $100 as $100 well spent, at least in my opinion. In the Sambe, we get everything we love about the timeless shape of the Adidas Samba, but with a modernized and premium twist. This iconic indoor football shoe is repurposed with an upgraded super soft smooth leather embellished with a premium embroidered take on the iconic three stripes with a clean seamless new buck toe box and it's finished with a translucent gum midsole outsole that as I mentioned is going to be 
on the thicker side. At the time of recording this video, there are currently four different color options. The white on black, the green on white, the OG black on white, and the red on white pair that I don't own. Priced at $110, this is just an incremental upgrade from the standard Samba, which is priced at 100 bucks, but the value that you get out of that is well worth it. As it pertains to sizing, I do recommend taking your true to size Adidas size, and that should be good for most. Unfortunately, at the moment, the shoe only goes up to a size 10 men's, which I do truly believe Adidas should extend the size range of the shoe for all of the factors that I did specify on. The shoe, in my opinion, just looks so much more premium than a standard Samba, and I don't doubt you will think the same. The change of the midsole really does go such a long way. Number one, I do find these shoes to be a lot more tolerable when it comes to comfort. Having that little bit of extra cushioning in the midsole, in my opinion, makes the shoe much more comfortable and easy to wear for more hours. Next, as it pertains to aesthetic, to me, it just gives off kind of a designer look as most designer premium sneakers do feature that elevated midsole. And then finally, of course, you do get that extra level of height. I feel like that in and of itself is enough of a benefit to go ahead and pick up a pair. But I pose a question off to you. What do you think about these Adidas Sambe? Do you see yourself picking up a pair or is it an easy skip for you. As of this very moment, the shoes are sold out on most websites, at least in the OG colorway. There was a restock recently on the green pair, which I recently shared to my Instagram stories. Speaking of Instagram, I've been wearing these quite a lot. And so that's what kind of inspired this video today. A lot of people were asking me about these shoes. So uh, here's a video. I will be providing links to all these shoes and as many links as I can find in the description down below. So go ahead and check that out, as well as links to some of the clothes that I did style the shoes with. But that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. As always, it is a major privilege of mine to get to serve you through making content. Feel extremely humbled, and I will never consider it anything less than a blessing to get to do so. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace and be blessed.